Neo-nationalism or new nationalism is a type of nationalism that rose in the mid-2010s in Europe and North America and to some degree in other regions. It is associated with several positions, such as right-wing populism, anti-globalization, nativism, protectionism, opposition to immigration, opposition to Islam and Muslims and Euroscepticism where applicable. According to one scholar, Nationalist resistance to global liberalism turned out to be the most influential force in Western politics. In 2016, particularly notable expressions of new nationalism include the United Kingdom European Union membership referendum and the election of Donald Trump as the 45th president of the United States. Topic: <laughs> Overview and characteristics. Writing for Politico, Michael Hirsch described new nationalism as a bitter populist rejection of the status quo that global elites have imposed on the international system since the Cold War ended, and which lower-income voters have decided—understandably—is unfair." Michael Brendan Doherty wrote in The Week that new nationalism is a broad nativist revolt against post-Cold War politics long characterized by an orthodoxy of free trade, nurturing the service economy, neoliberal trading arrangements, and liberalized immigration policies." The Economist wrote in November 2016 that, "...new nationalists are riding high on promises to close borders and restore societies to a past homogeneity." Clarence Page wrote in the Las Vegas Sun that, a new neo-tribal nationalism has boiled up in European politics and to a lesser degree in the United States since the global economic meltdown of 2008." And Ryan Cooper in The Week and researchers with the Center for Economic Policy Research have linked 21st-century right-wing populism to the Great Recession. According to Harvard political theorist Yasha Monk, Economic stagnation among lower and middle class whites has been a main driver for nationalism's rise around the globe. According to religion scholar Mark L. Mouvjian, new nationalism sets the nation state against supranational, liberal regimes like the EU or NAFTA, and local customs and traditions, including religious traditions, against alien, outside trends. David Brog and Yoram Hazani wrote in National Review that some conservatives view the new nationalism associated with Brexit and Donald Trump as a betrayal of conservative ideology while they see it as a return. According to conservative commentator Jonah Goldberg, the nationalism associated with Trump is really little more than a brand name for generic white identity politics. Writing for The Week, Damon Linker called the idea of neo-nationalism being racist. Nonsense and went on to say that, "...the tendency of progressives to describe it as nothing but racism, Islamophobia, and xenophobia—is the desire to delegitimize any particularistic attachment or form of solidarity, be it national, linguistic, religious, territorial, or ethnic." Regarding new nationalism, The Economist said that, Mr. Trump needs to realize that his policies will unfold in the context of other countries' jealous nationalism and called nationalism itself a «slippery concept» that is «easy to manipulate». They also repeatedly contrasted ethnic nationalism and civic nationalism and implied new nationalism could become «angry» and difficult to control, citing Chinese nationalism as an example. <laughs> Associated politicians, parties and events Topic. Brazil The president-elect of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro assumes office in 2019 of the country's Social Liberal Party has been described as a leading new nationalist. Topic. China China's paramount leader Xi Jinping's assumed office in 2012 concept of Chinese dream has been described as an expression of new nationalism. Egypt Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi assumed office in 2014, has been described as a new nationalist. Egypt 
Topic: <laughs> Hong Kong. The Hong Kong nationalism evolved from the localist movement in Hong Kong stresses the distinct Hong Kong identity as opposed to Chinese national identity promoted by the Beijing government and its growing encroachment on the city's management of its own political, economic and social affairs. The localist rhetorics, often mix with the nation's right to self-determination as well as anti-immigration stances against mainland immigrants and tourists, preserving local identity and culture similar to the Western New Nationalism. Hungary Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban assumed office in 2010, the leader of the ruling Fidesz party, has been described as a new nationalist. India Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi assumed office in 2014 and his Bharatiya Janata Party BJP have been referred to as new nationalist. Modi is a member of the Rashtriya Swayamsevak Sangh RSS, a right-wing paramilitary organization aligned with the BJP, which has also been said to advocate a new nationalist ideology. Yogi Adityanath, chief minister of the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, assumed office in 2017, has also been identified as a new nationalist. He has been touted as a future Prime Minister of the country. Italy Italian Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte assumed office in 2018, head of the populist coalition Government of Change, and in particular Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister and the League's leader Matteo Salvini, were often described as new nationalists. Salvini has been described by some media outlets as the most powerful politician in the country, and a de facto prime minister. Giorgia Maloney, the leader of Brothers of Italy, a party supporting the government on a case by case basis, has also been described as a new nationalist. <laughs> Japan The 63rd and current Prime Minister Shinzo Abe assumed office in 2012, a member of the right-wing organization Nippon Kaiga, has promoted ideas of new nationalism, as does the Liberal Democratic Party of Japan, which he leads. Philippines <inaudible> 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 Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte assumed office in 2016 has been described as a new nationalist. Topic: <inaudible> Poland. The 6th and current president of Poland Andrzej Duda assumed office in August 2015 is regularly cited as being a leading figure in the new nationalist movement within Poland. Furthermore, the ruling Law and Justice Party, led by Jarosław Kaczynski, promoted nationalist views to win an outright majority in the national elections of 2015 a feat never before accomplished. Despite not holding a government office, Kaczynski has been described as the figure who makes the final call on all major political issues in Poland. Russia. President of Russia Vladimir Putin, second president of Russia from 2000 to 2008 and fourth president of Russia from 2012, has been labeled a new nationalist. Putin has been described by Hirsch as the harbinger of this new global nationalism. Charles Clover, the Moscow bureau chief of the Financial Times from 2008 to 2013, wrote a book in 2016 titled Black Wind, White Snow, The Rise of Russia's New Nationalism. Russia has been accused of supporting new nationalist movements across Europe and in the United States. Topic: <inaudible> Turkey In 2014, Mustafa Akil wrote of a new brand of Turkish neonationalism", promoted by Justice and Development Party AKP, the country's ruling party, the leader of which is President Recep Tayyip Erdogan assumed office in 2014, Devlet Bocelli, the leader of the Nationalist Movement Party MHP, has been described as creating a new nationalist front by forming the People's Alliance with Erdogan's AKP in 2018. 
The MHP is affiliated with the Grey Wolves paramilitary organization, which Erdogan has also expressed support for. <laughs> United Arab Emirates The United Arab Emirates, under the leadership of Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi Mohammed bin Zayed assumed office in 2004, has been described as propagating a new Arab nationalism, which replaces the older, leftist form of the Arab nationalist ideology with a more conservative form. Through its strong support for the rise of the respective new leaders of Egypt and Saudi Arabia, Abdel Fattah el Sisi and Prince Mohammed bin Salman, as a means of countering Iranian and Turkish influence in the Arab states. United Kingdom The 23 June 2016 referendum in the United Kingdom to leave the European Union, Brexit, has been described as a milestone of new nationalism. Owen Matthews noted similarities in motives for support of the Brexit movement and Trump. He wrote in Newsweek that supporters of both are motivated by a yearning to control immigration, reverse globalization and restore national greatness by disengaging from the wide, threatening world." Matt O'Brien wrote of the Brexit as, "...the most shocking success for the new nationalism sweeping the Western world." Leaders of the Brexit campaign, such as Nigel Farage, the leader of the Eurosceptic UK Independence Party, former London Mayor Boris Johnson, Vote Leave co-convener Michael Gove, former Brexit Secretary David Davis, and European Research Group Chairman Jacob Rees-Mogg, have been called new nationalists. <laughs> United States Donald Trump's rise to the Republican candidacy was widely described as a sign of growing new nationalism in the United States. A Chicago Sun-Times editorial on the day of the inauguration of Donald Trump called him, "...our new nationalist president." The appointment of Steve Bannon, the executive of Breitbart News associated with the alt-right, was described by one analyst as arousal of a New world order, driven by patriotism and a fierce urge to look after your own, a neo-nationalism that endlessly smears Muslims and strives to turn back the clock on free trade and globalization, a world where military might counts for far more than diplomacy and compromise." In the wake of Trump's election, U.S. Senator Marco Rubio has called for a new nationalism to oppose economic elitism that has replaced a commitment to the dignity of work with a blind faith in financial markets and that views America simply as an economy instead of a nation. Other countries People The following politicians have all been described in some way as being new nationalists. Santiago Abascal, member of Basque Parliament 2004 to 2009 and president of Vox 2014. Tony Abbott, former Prime Minister of Australia 2013 to 2015 and former leader of the Liberal Party of Australia. Muqtada al-Sadr, leader of the Iraqi Sadrist movement. Andrei Babis, Prime Minister of the Czech Republic assumed office in 2017 and leader of ANYO 2011 Kaltmagin Batulga, President of Mongolia assumed office in 2017 and candidate of the Mongolian Democratic Party Mario Abdo Benitez, President-elect of Paraguay 2018 and candidate from the Colorado Party Boyko Borisov, Prime Minister of Bulgaria assumed office in 2009 and leader of GERB Horacio Cart, President of Paraguay 2013-2018 and candidate from the Colorado Party Prayat Chan Ocha, Prime Minister of Thailand assumed office in 2014 Robert Fico, Prime Minister of Slovakia 2012-2018 and leader of Direction Social Democracy Keiko Fujimori, leader of Fuerza Popular, and was their presidential candidate in the 2011 election Kalinda Grabar Kitarovic, President of Croatia, assumed office in 2015. Nikola Gruevski, former Prime Minister of Macedonia 2006 to 2016 and former leader of VMRO DPMNE. 
Park Jun Hai, former president of South Korea 2013 to 2017 and former leader of the Senyori Party. Juan Orlando Hernandez, president of Honduras, assumed office in 2014 and candidate from the National Party of Honduras. Norbert Hofer, Transport, Innovation and Technology Minister of Austria assumed office in 2017 and the candidate from the Freedom Party of Austria in the 2016 presidential election, which he lost by 46.2% to 53.8% Janis Jansa, former Prime Minister of Slovenia and leader of the Slovenian Democratic Party Panos Kaminos, Defense Minister of Greece assumed office in 2015 and leader of the Independent Greeks Krasimir Karakachinov, Defense Minister of Bulgaria assumed office in 2017 and leader of IMRO, Bulgarian National Movement José Antonio Cast, member of the Chamber of Deputies of Chile 2002 an independent presidential candidate in the 2017 presidential election Uhuru Kenyatta, President of Kenya assumed office in 2013 and leader of the Jubilee Party of Kenya Imran Khan, Prime Minister of Pakistan assumed office in 2018 and leader of Pakistan Tariq e Insaf Sebastian Kurz, Chancellor of Austria assumed office in 2017 and leader of the Austrian People's Party Francois Legault, leader of the Canadian coalition Avenir Quebec Marine Le Pen, former leader of the French National Front and candidate in the 2017 presidential election Kelly Leach, MP and 2017 candidate for the leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada Mauricio Macri, President of Argentina assumed office in 2015 and candidate from the Republican proposal MMUSI Maimane, leader of the opposition South Africa and party leader of Democratic Alliance Ivan Duque Marquez, President of Colombia assumed office in 2018 and candidate from the Democratic Center Herman Mashaba, Mayor of Johannesburg assumed office in 2016 and member of the Democratic Alliance Jimmy Morales, President of Guatemala assumed office in 2016 and candidate from the National Convergence Front Fabricio Alvarado Munoz, the candidate from the Costa Rican National Restoration Party in the 2018 presidential election Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of Israel assumed office in 2009 and leader of Likud Kevin O'Leary, businessman and 2017 candidate for the leadership of the Conservative Party of Canada Tomio Okamura, leader of the Czech Freedom and Direct Democracy Winston Peters, Deputy Prime Minister of New Zealand assumed office in 2017 and leader of New Zealand First Sebastian Piñera, President of Chile 2010 2014, 2018 Victor Ponta, former Prime Minister of Romania 2012 2015 and former leader of the Social Democratic Party Ruman Radev, President of Bulgaria assumed office in 2017 Najib Razak, former Prime Minister of Malaysia 2009 and leader of Barisan Nasional and the United Malays National Organization Mohammed bin Salman, Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia assumed office in 2017 Hun Sen, Prime Minister of Cambodia assumed office in 1998 and leader of the Cambodian People's Party Heinz Christian Strach, Vice Chancellor of Austria, assumed office in 2017 and leader of the Freedom Party of Austria. Prabowo Subianto, leader of the Great Indonesia Movement Party and candidate in the 2019 presidential election. Aleksandar Vucic, President of Serbia, assumed office in 2017 and leader of the Serbian Progressive Party. Geert Wilders, leader of the Dutch Party for Freedom. Abdullah Yameen, President of the Maldives 2013 and candidate of the Progressive Party of Maldives Milos Zeman, President of the Czech Republic assumed office in 2013. <laughs> parties The following parties have all been described in some way as being new nationalist parties. Alternative for Germany the Danish People's Party, which provides parliamentary support for the governing coalition in Denmark since 2015. The Finns Party, a former member of the governing coalition in Finland from 2015 until party split in 2017. The Dutch Forum for Democracy 
the National Alliance, a member of the governing coalition in Latvia since 2016. One Nation, which holds the balance of power in the Australian Senate since 2016. The Slovak National Party, a member of the governing coalition in Slovakia since 2016. The Sweden Democrats. The Swiss People's Party, a member of the governing coalition in Switzerland since 2003. The United Patriots, a member of the governing coalition in Bulgaria since 2014. The Flemish Vlaams Belong. Equals equals see also.